Hey, what's going on, friends and family? Welcome back to another episode of BKO Reviews. And today, man, this right here was like one of the worst experience I ever had to deal with with buying a sneaker. Uh, but before we get started with any of that, I definitely want to encourage everyone, if you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the content, please hit that thumbs up button as well as subscribe to the channel. And also, don't forget to hit that bell notification. Best way of staying up to date with the most recent content. Uh, now that we got all of that out of the way, man, like I said, guys, this was something that I ordered off of eBay. Uh, the actual seller had access to, uh, I think he got it through Sneakers app, Early Access. Uh, this was a purchase I made on February 16th, and it actually got delivered March 10th. Six days to almost a whole month. Horrible service. Horrible. Uh, to be honest, I, I want to make it real short. I don't want to, you know, dwell on it that long. Uh, the buyer sent the sneakers out. Uh, the actual seller sent the sneakers out as soon as he received them. Um, and then it went to like a, a hub for the authenticator to check them out. And it literally stayed at the hub for over a week and three days. And then it took another maybe four days for that. Like my my experience with this whole eBay situation and the authentication was horrible. Nevertheless, let's check it out. I'm excited to see how these look in person. I've seen other YouTubers do reviews on the sneaker already, so I uh, kind of took away from the hype of it. Voila. Okay, so as you can see, there is no padding on the box, which really sucks. No receipt on the box. It does have eBay branding on the inside of the box, but outside of that, nothing else. Voila. As you can see, you have your, can't really say standard, is a different Jordan box. It is brown with black in that infrared color branding on the lid. It says flight with the Jordan Jumpman logo on it. Doesn't appear to have any other branding on it. Here's the box label, Air Jordan 4 Retro, Taupe Haze slash Infrared 23. Style code is BD0732-200 and suggested retail was $200. Check them out. Okay, so they give some type of card here. Authentic without a doubt, and it looks like it has some type of scanning system on it, but it doesn't have like any information of who authenticated the sneaker for me. All right, let me move all of this out of the way for you guys. We're trying out some new lights here, so let me know if you like the way the setup looks. Wow. And these, these are nice. Uh, it's definitely different. Um, to be honest with you guys, I really didn't know what to expect uh, with certain uh, materials on this sneaker. But I do have to say I do like it, and I do see why everyone is referring to this could be the Travis Scott friends and family pair. But nevertheless, let's check it out. If you're not familiar with the silhouette, this is the Air Jordan 4 Taupe Haze, and this is very nice. As you can see, this was a, a item that I purchased through eBay, so it does have like this little thing here which is pretty cool it doesn't look like you can reuse this so i guess that's a plus uh the materials here on the high ankle area as you can see it, it looks like it is it feels like it's suede but it's cracked suede i'm not really sure if that even makes any sense 
So I'm not really 100% sure what the material here is here along the eyelids as well. It does have some areas where they do have like a suede material, which is very soft to the touch. Uh, as you can see, you do have white here on the midsole and black on the outsole. As we go to the toe box, you get to see more of that cracked material a lot better. I want that to focus. There you go right there. It is smooth though, so it's weird because I would assume that this would be very uh, tough or, you know, real hard, but it's not. It's very soft. As you can see on the toe box, you do have more of that suede. You do have your standard Air Jordan tongue here with the, the mesh underneath. You have your big Jordan Jumpman flight patch that's on here with that infrared color. Uh, as we go to the lateral side, you pretty much see it's the same makeup. You have your, your, your I'm not really sure what this is, it's like a support here. That's a black standard rubber, as well as more suede. As we go to the back of the heel, you can see it has that Jumpman Jordan logo and that topaz color. Uh, mainly, if they would have put the Nike Air on the back, it probably would have been a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, as we go to the tongue, you have your Air Jordan brand in here that is upside down. And the back of the tongue has that infrared color as well. Uh, let's check out the insole. Uh, the insole is pretty standard. You have your Jordan Jumpman logo there in black. And the tongue is that same infrared color. Uh, here's the outsole of it. Uh, you have your stars here in the forefront of the sneaker with your Jordan Jumpman logo and that infrared color as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. I do like it. Um, you know, my experience with this whole eBay purchasing kind of, kind of took me for a loop. Um, and it kind of like, uh, ruined the experience of it, but I am happy. I was able to get this. I did spend a lot more than I wanted to. Um, and then it took me almost a month to actually receive it. And now that I think about it, the resale value on it is not as high as it was when I purchased it. So, I mean, if you're looking to purchase this through eBay, I will probably say if you got time to waste, if you got a month or so to spare, yeah. But if you're looking to get it sooner than that, I will probably say this wouldn't be your best option. Uh, let me know what you think. Um with this sneaker was this a pair that you was actually looking to get uh was this a pair that you was able to get on release day i know it sold out relatively fast pretty much everywhere sneakers app jimmy jazz uh foot locker uh i don't know you let me know leave your comments below and we can discuss uh, i want to thank everyone once again for tuning in to another video of bk reviews uh, like I said to you guys earlier, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the content, only thing that I ask of you is to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel as well. The best way of staying up to date with the most recent content. And with all that being said, I want to thank everyone once again for tuning into another video of BKL Reviews.